Hey everyone, it's Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty. It's just a regular afternoon here in New York City and I'm about to do some yarny stuff. So I thought, why not pull out my camera and we can do it together. So I have just sat down and written out a list of things that I want to do. I just wrote it out in my planner and I have a lot of what I want to accomplish here in the next couple hours or maybe this vlog will go into tomorrow. I'm, I'm not really sure, but number one, <laughs> I have been putting something off so, so bad. The swap that I'm hosting, I have not sent my package yet. Now I am two days late. So I need to get that packaged up and shipped off. That's priority number one. We have a little bit of organizing that I want to do. I want to pick up the sleeves on a sweater. Anyway, we have so much fun. Toaster's here. Hey, Toaster. Okay, he's looking in the bed. Don't even worry about that. Anyway, we're gonna have some fun today. You can come along with me. Let me know what you're working on in the comments so I can see what you're doing today as you're watching. All right, let's just get started. See, one thing I wanna do today is get rid of this basket. I don't like having the basket out to the side. Um, it was kind of necessary when I first got organized here. If you haven't seen, I have a video on how I organized that, but I think I can get rid of it now. So here, we're gonna come into my closet. Do, 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 do. So I ended up using a couple of these drawers to store scrappy stuff. So I've reorganized it a little bit since then. This top drawer are all the scraps that I'm using for my granny stripe blanket. And then down here, I've been putting together all the scraps that I wanna send off for my swap package. So in theory, once I empty this out, I'll have another drawer. I can take my scrappy stuff out of there. I can reset these baskets and hopefully get rid of that one. That's the hope. But first we need to work on this package. So let's do it. What I'm doing right now is I am matching up all of these yarns with some of the labels that I kept because a long time ago, I started putting together little packages like this. Um, it has the amount of yarn, what the yarn is, the color, and then what project I had used it in. So, I mean, that's pretty fun. I think I could probably do that with the rest of this stuff. I think. So I'm going to go ahead and finish matching all of these up. So all of these are like, I finish a sock, for example. Okay. Hello, focus. Um, anyway, like I finished a sock, for example, and I had two balls like this left over. So I put one in my bin and then I put one in this bin to give to somebody else, right? I think that's really fun. So I probably will continue to do that. So I will need a space for it, but I don't know if I need a space this big. <laughs> so yeah, I need to get these finished and then I can get them labeled. Probably gonna need my computer here and I should have, let's see, I think I had 12 over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wait, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 27. Okay, so I've, I've got plenty. So I can even go through and kind of pick out colors that I think my swap partner would like because I believe we're sending 20 of them. Yeah. And I have my swap package so I can open it with you guys. Okay, let's finish this up.
Well, that took a minute. So uh, now I'm done. <laughs> and I've got everything packaged up here. And so now I'm just gonna pick out the 20 that I think will be great for my swap partner. And, oh, there we go. <laughs> and uh, start, I think I'm just gonna continue to do this and just hold on to it. And maybe I can get enough by the end of the year that I can do like a giveaway um, advent calendar. That'd be really fun, right? Uh, that's kind of how I started out, like intending it to be, but then I'm doing a scrappy swap. So anyway, I'm going to pick these out and get them packaged up and I will show you the other things I'm sending to my swap partner. They're really cute. And then we'll get to move on to the next thing. Finally, <laughs> love this camera angle. All right. I'm getting ready to put everything together. And I found for my swap partner, this bag from Black Pearl Magic. I got myself one of the same sizes because it's so cute and adorable it's got little handles and it draws strings up and it's got a wax canvas box bottom it's such a nice bag i've been using my other one hello <laughs> and it's great and then i also got her a progress keeper from black pearl magic okay this is some lazy camera come on come on there we go. It's got like glitter inside. I think it's super fun. So I'm going to stick all that in here. Oh my gosh, you can't even see me. Let's get it all packaged up. Perfect. It just fits and I want to write her a card real quick and then I'll be able to close it up and finally get it mailed off. I don't know why I put these things off, but if you're like me, just get it done. It doesn't take as long as you think. So I've started using this pretty cool free website called Pirate Ship. My, one of my friends told me about it. Um, instead of going to the FedEx across the street because I'm lazy, but that's a little bit expensive when I'm shipping out like prizes and stuff all the time, you know, it can add up. So um, I have been using pirate chip and it's really cool. So I like weigh everything myself and measure it and I put in the address and then I buy the label right on my computer. And then I, because I don't have a printer, I go downstairs to the convenience shop downstairs with a dollar bill and I pay them a dollar and I print out one sheet of paper, which sounds really expensive, but it's, I promise you it's a lot cheaper than going over to FedEx. And then I have everything packaged. I cut out my label and I've taped it on and now it's ready to go. So I can either run it down to U the USPS um, down the street um, or I can hopefully, fingers crossed, take it just downstairs to our front desk because I have another package waiting for me. So I'm gonna try to do that now and then it's time for some dinner because I am so hungry. I just put some water on the stove to boil because we're gonna make some pasta here in a second. But I have time so I really wanna work on this right here. Actually, let me just flip this around in my hands. Okay. So I want to get rid of this. I don't want to have this basket out on the floor anymore, which means I'm going to have to reduce the amount of stuff that I have. I've got space. I've got four baskets and I have this over here. So what I'm going to do, or what I have right now is I have scrappy blanket stuff here. Let me get in closer. I've got scrappy blanket stuff, like literally the blanket and more scrap yarn that's even in there. This is literally all bags. I have to get rid of some bags and my flow totes take up a lot of space. So that's part of it, but I just don't use my drawstrings anymore um, quite as much. So I might be getting rid of some of those. This is like some random stuff plus like things I use for classes. And then this is also like a mixture of different things. So what I'd like to have is one whole basket for whips, one whole basket for like bags and needles, because those are the actual things I use the most. Um, one for like shipping materials and prizes and stuff I need to show on the podcast. And then my other one will be like my catch all because I still have some needle point stuff and other things. I think that's going to be the plan. So. Let me see how fast I can get this kind of rearranged. Okay, I remember some of the stuff I have in here now. I've got 
two bags of smaller like scraps. So in here I have all of my scraps that are like 15 grams and more with my granny strip blanket. I'm barely able to fit in there. Actually, it's snagging it. Ugh. Okay, I'm probably not gonna be able to do that. I uh, hope that one day I can start working these down and my blanket will fit in there. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, probably not gonna work for right now, but maybe I can put these other minis on top because they won't get hurt and that won't really matter. Anyway, I just, <laughs> I broke this bag, so we're not gonna open that one up again. I have a few more to add to it. Don't you love hearing me talk with my head cut off there? And then what else I have, Hold on, let me get these in there. Okay, that will kind of work. I need to work on these, like I need to get rid of them. And then I have all of my granny squares that I've made the last two years of Advent. I believe this is gonna be the last year that I make this um, Advent calendar granny square. And so then I can finally put them together, right? That would be really great. And then I have a huge magic knot ball. So if I can fit all of that in the bottom drawer here that will free up an entire basket for me to use for something else. It's a tight squeeze, but we got it in. So these used to be my absolute favorite from Erin Lane bags and they're awesome bags. I just don't tend to use drawstring anymore, but I had, or I have such a big collection of them and yeah, I just don't really use them much anymore. I'm so much more um, prone to grab my float totes because they hold things separately and that's just, you know, the stage I guess that I'm at right now, but I was really into collecting all the sheeple stuff. So, I'm not going to show you what I'm keeping or getting rid of right now because, you know, it can be kind of sensitive, especially if it's a bag that somebody gave me or that somebody designed and they see that. So I'm not going to show you what I'm getting rid of. But if you are in need of some drawstring bags, uh, let me know down in the comments and I will be sending some off as a giveaway. It'll just be a surprise what you get. Um, again, not to like you know, make anyone upset. I mean, it's not because the bags aren't good. It's just because I don't use the style anymore, honestly. So anyway, if you need some bags, drop it, like let me know in the comments and uh, I'll pick a few people and send some stuff out. All right, I downsized seven bags, I think. Honestly, they're the bags that don't even take up a lot of space. So <laughs> not super helpful. But what I did realize is I have a ton of Christmas bags. So all the other ones are inside here and I'll be making some decisions come Christmas time, which ones I like, tend to use more. I've got two Halloween bags, so one's in there, and my Disney bags, and I just put a bunch of other bags in here. Anyway, the float totes are what really take up a lot of space. So, oh, and I thought I might use this to put my granny stripe blanket in, so that can go in there with that. So let's see if we made any room once I put this back into one of those baskets. Okay, this is good actually. I was able to get bags in here along with my needle bag. This is literally all my needles and crochet hooks are all in this one pouch, so convenient. Um, so yeah, that actually frees up a lot of space in this other thing where I need to go through and some of the stuff doesn't really belong out here. So progress, um, but I better go check on my boiling water. So we might have to come back to this tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. It is Friday. <laughs> I love Fridays. I try to make Fridays like my least busy day of the week. I try to do maybe just like half a day of work sometimes. Most of the time it's like morning time, but it just kind of depends because I usually end up doing work over the weekend, whether I'm hosting events or just getting stuff prepared for the week. So I try to make Friday a fun day. So I've just poured myself a Second cup of coffee. I've done my emails this morning, caught up on like different social media. Oh, I need to get back onto YouTube because I've just posted a bunch of stuff about 
um, sock week. But I really wanted to um, finish this up this morning before I go do some fun things, get my nails done. So we still have this basket to take care of. And where I left it yesterday is I had cleared out one whole basket and put my bags in another of my needles. So we're getting really close. I don't think it will take me too much longer to kind of get things arranged here and then I can have a much clearer space. So let's just get right back into it. So I've cleared out the rest of these three bins. This one's still the bags and my needles. And I kind of sorted it out into different categories of stuff. Okay, so some of these things I do want here because it's like easy access, but some of it I don't really need over there or I can like really pack up a whole basket because I don't need to get to it very often. So for example, like I use my scale all the time. So I think it can fit like right here. I also use these all the time when I'm winding yarn. So if those things can be there, this can be my like, you know, easy to get to things I need all the time, needles and all of that. But the rest of the Swift stuff, like you can clamp the Swift that I have. Um, I'm sorry, the ball winder that I have, that can go in my closet along with these tiny little sock blockers, which are so cute. And then I found all of my uh, stocking yarn. I think I can fit that maybe like back behind this yarn. I'll make that look better in a second so it's not taking up space. Okay. And I believe I said I could have like a random basket, my bags and my essentials, one for like shipping and prizes and one for whips, right? I think that's going to work out. So all of this random stuff, I've got like sewing stuff that I use <laughs> rarely. I've got all my needle point stuff, which it really does take up a lot of space, but I don't know. And then I've got uh, different accessories, you know, a long time ago. Well, sometimes I make different things and um, all of my stuff to make, like convert my stitch markers. I use that a lot. Pom-pom makers, you know, beading stuff. So I think that might all fit in one. And then, yeah, I'll have these two open for my other things. So hopefully I can empty this basket. That's, that's the next step. Yeah, that actually worked out super great. I was able to get all of those different random things in there, plus the yarn that I use for tutorials. And this doesn't need to be like a super easy to get to uh, like piece anyway, because I don't use that stuff very often. So that worked out great. Let's clear this thing out. Yay. Okay, everything's in. It's not perfect. It's a little jam packed, but this is giving me the parameters to work with. Like whips have to be able to fit in here. I was actually surprised that I had no problems getting all of my current whips in here besides the granny stripe blanket. And then this is filled from like the bottom up with like sh stuff that I need to show ship out prizes and the top is my designs that are like have been waiting for me for a year obviously it's going to be a little hard to push that in but again having it kind of better organized now i can start hopefully working through things uh that is getting really hard to close and i'm about to open up my swap package but i'm really glad to have this empty i'm gonna donate that and 
now I don't have anything over here, which I think looks so much nicer. At least it's like calmer to me to just have this. All right, since I got some stuff done, I'm gonna reward myself by opening up my swap package. I'm so excited to open it up. So this was a swap that we did as part of the Love & Stitches membership. Um, so we're planning to do lots of different swaps and stuff. So if you wanna join in, you can find out more about the memberships um, down in the description box, but those spots for that open up um, every month from the first to the third. Anyway, let's get into this. So I love my partner to use this really cool uh, wrapping paper. Um, not wrapping paper, like tissue paper, kind of. It's thicker than tissue paper, but look, it's knitted. It's so cool. Okay, so let's dive in. Ooh. Got a little bag of extra stuff. So let me see him read this card. Okay, it gives away a little bit about the... Um, what's in here. So I'm not going to read it until I open it. I think on the bottom are minis. So let's see what is in here. We've got some soak. I love soak. I think this one is the scentless one and pineapple grove. Actually, that's one of my favorite ones. I really like that. Let's see. Oh, some tea. Tea pigs trim. Herbal tea. I love herbal tea. I will probably drink this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's see. Oh, these are cool. Look at these like neon hexagon stitch markers. I love that. And there's four of each color, which would be really good to use um, for like marking different things. You know, I think this would be really good to use for a raglan increase on a sweater because you know how sometimes you have to increase on the outside of the marker or the inside of the marker. Anyway, I think that's who those are from. What does it say? Andromeda Sock Yarn. Oh, those are so cool. I love that. Okay, and it looks like, oh, there's more in here. I think this is what the, the note had, some different markers. Oh, so cool. This is so fun. It's, it's like, it's literally a present when somebody picks something out and sends stuff to you. So that's super, super cool. All right, here's a progress keeper. It looks like a sweet little comb, like a brush, like an old fashioned brush with a little pink pearl on it. Let me see if that's on here. Um, yes, comb from Adornets with a freshwater pearl from Pearl Smith. Oh my gosh, did you put this together? That'd be so cool if my swap partner made that. It's so cool, okay. This one is a yarn ball, oh my gosh, cute, from Charmed and Dangerous. Look, it has little knitting needles sticking out of it. And you can tell it's clay, like it's handmade. So cute. Okay, one more. Oh, cool. It's a little New York City postcard. It says, greetings from New York. That is from Adornets as well. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. Okay, let's get into the yarn. I am going to just kind of pull everything out, I think, and show it maybe in fast motion because this isn't like an advent or anything. Yeah, everything's opened up. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's packaged really nicely. Everything's open, and so I'm just going to add it right to my drawer of scraps that you saw me organize earlier and maybe over the weekend I can start adding it into my uh, scrappy granny stripe because I need to start working down <laughs> through that stash because I have more scraps than I know what to do with. I mean, I'm gonna use them all obviously, but okay, so let's open this up. Wow, this is impressive. She's got them like wound so beautifully with little tags on them. I love this. This took a lot of time. How kind. Oh my gosh. So cool. Okay. So I'm going to leave all the tags on here because then as I work them, I'll remember they're from my swap partner, which makes them even more special, a lot more special than just something that I finished up. So let me just show you these real quick. 
Oh my gosh, she made a center pool ball. How did you do that? Oh, how thoughtful. These are all so cute. Oh my gosh. These are definitely colors that I like. Look at that center pool ball. I'm gonna have to take a picture of all this. My gosh, she took so much time to write all of these out. I don't even know if I'm showing. Oh, ooh, love that one. What's that? Lamb's Woman Knits. Magenta is in neutral. <laughs> oh my goodness, these are great. You wanna join a swap? Well, we're not gonna do a scrappy one right away, but we could do it again soon. Oh, these are so great. Hopefully you are enjoying seeing them. <laughs> I really like that. Moon Tower Dye Works. And it's kind of fun because it's like, I get to see all these different yarns that I would maybe have never used before. Wow. Oh, is this lavender? Oh. I love it. What a special touch. I'll probably put that in my, my like knitted. I have all my knitted stuff down in the drawer behind me. I'll probably put that in there. Herd of cats. <laughs> oh, these are so great. Oh, thank you so much. You guys. It doesn't stop. Three more. Oh, I'm gonna take a picture. So cool. Oh, I love this. Amazing. Okay, hopefully that was interesting for you to see <laughs> the swap packages. I love it. I always, when I get new markers, I like try to use them right away. So I'll have to put those onto something here soon. Make my tea tonight. Ah, I love it. Okay, well, let's go on to do something else because I desperately need to go get my nails fixed so that we can come back home and do some knitting. Good morning. Okay, where did I leave you? It was two days ago, because yesterday was a very busy day. So I was getting my nails done, and they're all fixed up, and it's so much better. This place I went to was amazing. I'm going back there, I already have an appointment. Anyway, I'm sitting on the couch this morning about like morning sun. You can probably hear my coffee. <sighs> the sound of coffee brewing. Okay, that's a little loud. <laughs> it's almost done. Anyway, so most mornings, like every single morning, I start out the day after I do kind of like my getting ready, morning routine, take care of toaster, I get in bed with knitting, my book, and my like coffee and breakfast. All right, further away from the coffee pot, just in case that was like so loud. Anyway, I do that every single day and it's such a blessing. It's amazing. That used to be something when I was working outside of the house that every weekend, that's all I wanted to do in the morning was get up early, knit in bed, drink my coffee, and now I get to do it every single day. Um, but I'm starting out the day this morning out here on my couch in the living room because I want to finally pick up sleeves on my summer sorrel sweater. So I'm gonna be doing sleeves one at a time on this sweater because they're short. So I have all my stitches here like on a clover circular hold stitch holder, they're so great. In fact, I like these so much that when I take them off of here, I'm going to be putting them onto my rocket tee because my rocket tee just has um, cords from an interchangeable set with the tips on there with the like stoppers and the stoppers are a little bit bulky and my yarn keeps getting caught on them. So I think it might be better to have these, but I only have one set because I don't usually make multiple sweaters. Um, and if I continue to make multiple sweaters, I'll buy another set, but I don't, I don't really think I need to right now. Anyway, I'm gonna do one sleeve at a time. If I was doing long sleeves, I would probably pick up and knit one sleeve like an inch, pick up and knit the other sleeve an inch, and then put them on to two circular needles to work them together just so that they get done faster. But with short sleeves, there's really no point. So yeah, I wanna get this picked up and then I'm gonna go get in bed with my Cheerios and my book and everything once I'm all set up. But I wanted to go ahead and take care of this this morning. I've been watching on uh, something on Instagram um, 
And so I'm gonna keep on listening to that, pick up my stitches, drink my coffee and my water, and then I'll get all settled in. Okay, I'm in the bathroom trying on my sweater. We have been out all day, not out, but like at our own apartment building and we've just been having such a fun day and I haven't recorded any of it, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I wanted to try on and see, hold on, I feel like I might be blocking the speaker. So I wanted to look at the sleeve here, right? Can you see that? Before I finish the second sleeve, I wanna make sure that this sleeve looks good. So what do we think? Uh, I think it looks, I think it's too flared. I think the stretchy bind off, get out of the way strap. I think the stretchy bind off is like too stretchy. So I might bind off again. That might be better. Okay, I think the stretchy bind off is too stretchy. It's like kind of ruffly and flaring. So I might just rebind off regular bind off here. Um, but yeah, I think it looks good. I like the length. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing on this side while we're watching TV tonight and finish this up. Ooh, I'm so excited. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna, now that I've tried it on, uh, get all relaxed, get in my pajamas. We don't have anything else we have to do for the night. Just watch reality TV and knit on this thing. And you're gonna have to wait for the podcast to see it all finished though. I'm so excited. It might be time to close out the world's longest and most random vlog. <laughs> okay, so I just finished binding off the second sleeve here this morning, and you can kind of see it already looks like not like better. It's tidier than this bind off. I'm about to unpick this one and fix it. Ah, so yeah, it's gonna look so much better. I think. Hold on, let me turn around. Yeah, we're in the other mirror today, but yeah, I think that's looking a lot tidier than the other one. What do you think about sleeve length overall? I think it looks good. I can't wait to block it and just have it all like nicely looking so nice. I'm so excited. Showed off on the podcast. Definitely going to be wearing it. Yeah, we need to do a rebind off there of that one. Anyway, Thanks so much for watching this vlog and all of its randomness. <laughs> I'll see you for the podcast on Thursday and I'll be showing off this sweater. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.